Pixel 6 Pro users. I got you. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Delvon Digital here, and we're here to do this almost two year follow up of the Pixel 6 Pro because I know some of you are still using this device. So, how well has it been holding up over almost two years? Years. First, I want to say before we get started that I am running the Android 14 beta on this. This is my new beta phone that I will be using to do all beta testing. And when the Pixel 8 come out, or 8 Pro for that matter, I will be switching to the Pixel 7 Pro as my new beta phone, and I will be selling my Pixel 6 Pro. I'm always gonna make sure that I have one phone for betas and one phone for stable. With that all being said, I just wanna say that the battery life on this has still been pretty solid, pretty good. Theoretically, I'm not gonna throw up any screen on numbers, screen on time numbers, I'm sorry, or tell you that the battery you know, is lasting such, 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 blah, blah, blah. I just wanna say this, from the time that I pull this phone off the charger, and I put it back on the charger, it lasts me through a whole entire work day and then some. That is my usage and I cannot tell you that your usage will be the same because your signal, your temperature, your apps, the things that you do on your phone as far as gaming, not gaming or whatever it is, is totally different from mine and I know it is. So therefore we may not share the same battery life day to day. And for me, I'm just a social app person listening to music and maybe do some videos and pictures all day long, but I really don't do like videos or playing games as anything really demanding on any of my devices. So most likely any device that I get in my hand, I can actually make it through a 24 hour work day, which is not really a 24 hour work day. It's normally eight hours. And then the rest of the day is pretty much for me. So battery has been pretty solid and that's all i want to say about the battery life it's been great and still holding up after all of these years and of course the software we cannot talk about this pixel without talking about the software the software is just as good as the software on the 7 pro so if you do have the 6 pro it's no reason to upgrade to gain any other features besides only hardware improvements if you feel that you need them hardware improvements if you feel like you really don't you're fine with the pixel 6 pro hardware then there's no real reason to upgrade to the pixel 7 pro because the software experience on that device and any other pixel following the tensor line will pretty much be the same and even if you don't have the tensor it's still pretty much the same Google has really a good they actually does a really good job at making sure that the software experience is you know the same throughout their whole entire pixel line and I got to give them credit for that but just saying that if you're really in the fence of upgrading you might can hold out at least until the Pixel 8 Pro series that do come out. And I will recommend that then going to the 7, even though the 7 would be a good deal. But if you can jump from the 6 to the 7, I mean to the 8, that would be a better upgrade than jumping in between. I'm just one of those people who just loves, enjoy upgrading every year. So I will upgrade every year, but I know that everyone is not like that. So if you're one of those people who just always on the fence, I can tell you that if you have the Pixel 6 Pro, you probably can hold off another year or even two years, depending on your usage, because the software is still awesome. Now, I know we talked about hardware briefly a little bit, but let's just say this. I wanna say that the hardware has held up pretty good. Um, though I do scan my devices, I wanna say that my front screen does have micro scratches on it. So the screen itself, without a screen protector, it has micro scratches up there. And I'm really not that hard on the phone. I'm assuming that this came from my pocket or something. I, I really don't know. I don't really put anything in my pocket besides my phone by itself. And then everything else would be in the other pocket, like everything else, my house my 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 car my my wife uh, my dog my cat everything would be in that one pocket i would stuff everything in life into that pocket but the phone will get its own pocket by itself so i don't really know where these scratches came from but they're there and it's okay it's not a real big deal whatever i just want you to know the longevity of it um yours may be much worse or yours may be in um, pristine condition um so just just the hardware has held up i would say that and if i threw a screen protector up here you probably wouldn't see these scratches anymore obviously especially like a matte one which i normally use on my pixel 7 pro and any all of the actually all the rest of my devices even my galaxy s23 ultra has a matte protector but i decided to take this one off because i just want to see how long and how good the screen will hold up over time so just reporting that to you just now 
So doing these follow up videos can get a little bit hard to do sometimes because, you know, people want to hear a lot of positive and a lot of good things or, you know, what changes and stuff like that. And sometimes the experience just doesn't change. It always stays great or sometimes it gets bad. And for my situation, the experience has just been pretty much the same flawless, not flawless, but just flawless in my mind um, where the issues that people have um i don't have like people had um battery drain issues and people had phone heating up issues and stuff like that that's what i mean by flawless like i haven't had those type of issues with my pixel 6 pro i don't know if it's like my temperature or how i use my phone or if i got a lucky device or whatever but not everyone shares these issues and problems with these pixel phones it's it's very inconsistent i can honestly say that google has some quality you know they got to work on their quality control when it comes to this because how it's hit or miss but i feel like it's hit and miss with different regions and how people use their phones um you know the temperature in their countries and stuff like that could be you know because 90 percent of the time when i was using my pixel we only have our we have our summer months and our summer months are from like june to like september or something like that and then after that it's just pretty much regular temperature and cool so you know my phone never really got hot or anything like that even during the summertime which is currently now the phone hasn't exceeded like crazy temperatures but i will honestly say that i felt performance dip sometimes when i got my phone in the window on the car mount and it's blazing outside but i do got the ac on in the car and sometimes, um, well, not all the time. When the AC is on, it's fine. But when I turn the AC off and I got the windows down riding, that's when I start to see the performance on my phone kind of take a hit. And that's about the most. And that's because the phone is kind of warm because the sun is beaming down at it. Obviously, um, people, you know, do stupid stuff like this and have the phone in the window with the beaming down. That's that, I'm one of those people. And then I'm not going to be the one that complained about performance. So I'm not going to complain about it because obviously I'm setting the phone up to fail, putting it in a hot window and sun beaming at it. And I'm driving with the windows down and all this stuff like that. So not a big issue. But yes, yeah, some people have performance issues with this device, but I haven't really had any really bad hiccups. Now, have I had bugs? Yes, I honestly had bugs throughout the duration of this device. And normally like a cache clearing or data clear normally fix a lot of them or a full reset of the phone normally just fix all the bugs whenever Google sends out a bad update or so. But for the most part, I haven't been I haven't done that in at least the last six months. So it's been pretty solid as far as updates. I've been getting lucky because each update that comes, no bugs. Well, beta bugs, yes, but when it was unstable, no stable bugs. So in conclusion, if you have the Pixel 6 Pro, I hope that you're still enjoying the device. If you gave it up, I'm sorry to hear about your bad experience. But other than that, this phone has been solid. It has been great. And I think that Google is trying to work out this Tensor situation. And don't forget, in 2025, we're going to get a fully custom Tensor chip. And I'm very excited. No more Samsung, no more Samsung, and no more Samsung. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Delvon Digital. Peace.